that the, the rouge was possible because of the nonpartisan, all party support for this project. And mm -hmm. here, are, you know, some of us thought that our job was over when, they, <laughs> when, when the park was announced. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a challenge that comes up and we have to step up to the plate. And when uh, David Crombie, the, my good friend David Crombie, in his Royal Commission uh, decided that the whole Rouge area should be saved, that was the first step in terms of making things happen. And then the Save the Rouge with Glenda Bearmaker and hundreds of other people. Alan Wells is here, head of the Rouge Park Alliance. Larry, um, Peter, and of course I'm so happy to see Jack Heath here because we work very closely together with, uh, with, with Jack. So, so I'm here to talk about 5,000 acres. I mean, 7,000 acres of the green belt to be taken out, and 5,000 is in Pickering. Shame! Shame! I mean, it's just Shame. terrible. And I just could not believe it. You know, a lot of people don't understand uh, this issue. And it's going to be up to each of us to talk to people, to say, hey, this is important. This has got to stop. Yeah. We cannot build the houses there. Yeah. And so, so when, when the Rouge was coming along, the council chamber in Scarborough was jammed full of people. Well, what happened in Pickering? Council chamber jammed full of people. And the council did the right thing, unanimously voted to save this preserve. Why are we doing this? Well, when we got the uh, when we were working on the rouge, we really wanted to have the drop lands into the rouge too, into the park. Yeah. Yeah. But they were already saved. Right. So we said, okay, well, they're already saved, they're preserved. Mike Harris in 1995, he thought it was important, and he saved it. Dalton McGinty thought it was important, and he saved it. So we thought that, okay, it's saved. Yep. But now we've got with a stroke of a pen, maybe it isn't. So that's why each one of you here is really important that we work constantly to save this. Now, the Friends of the Rouge, I mean, I just can't give this up. <laughs> What are you doing with yourself now? I said, well, I'm working on the Rouge. He said, well, didn't you do that 30 years ago? <laughs> yeah, I did. But you know, this fragmentation of this being houses from the draft, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not possible. I mean, we do not, it's going to ruin the Rouge. The streams, the streams, the, the wetlands, the farmland. I mean, I saw this beautiful sign. Let me see that sign out here again. This beautiful sign. Agricultural lands need to protection. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> now, Parks Canada is an international, international uh, recognized institution of saving the saving uh, uh, environmental lands and protection. And we're very fortunate that Parks Canada is is here doing this work. And Omar Makati, who is the superintendent of the Rouge has uh, written a, an excellent letter to, to the government of Ontario to, to outline the pillars of the Rouge, which relate to the drought lands too. Nature, culture, and agriculture. And those three pillars re uh, re relate to, to this lands also. Now, we have met with Peter Vinland Fowley, the Minister of uh, finance minister in the Ontario government. He tells me, he tells us, he's made this public, that he's a green minister. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Let's get the action. The green minister, the whole 5,000 acres is in his <coughs> riding. And we need to have Peter Benlin Valley, who I believe, he's a friend of mine, 
He's a good finance minister, and I want him to do the right thing. We need to have him on side on this issue, and I believe he is. He just needs a lot more support on on this. So if we can give him that support, because this is how I really think this is where I get to the nonpartisan stuff. Is that I think that we need to find solutions here. There's got to be a solution, a compromise. The, as the federal government is doing their part, and it's wonderful, and we need to be sure that the provincial government gets the message that they are going to do the right thing also. So, we are working on this. There are thousands of people that have worked on the Rouge, and we need thousands of people working. I see Glenda Bearmaker has arrived here. He is, he is one of the, the strongest persons in terms of, of uh, protection, and we need to all work together. Minister, I'm so happy that you're here. You have made this first step to make this draft lands preserved forever, and I thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you.